He's a mental health advocate, and his art is breaking down the stigmas surrounding mental health. Edward Gunawan is here to tell us about his press play comic exhibit featured now at the Oakland Asian Cultural Center. Edward, thank you so much for joining us here. Uh, thank you so much, Olivia, for having me, and I appreciate this opportunity to talk about the work a little bit more yeah. and also about mental health, which is an issue that affects so many people. It really yeah. is. And let's get into that topic a little bit. Mm. You've done so much work when it comes to the mental health awareness mm. through Press Play. Tell us what Press Play is and how it's developed over the years. Sure, yeah. Uh, so Press Play is a comic, um, and it is a comic that I wrote and I collaborated with my brother, who is a visual artist. He illustrated the comic, uh, and it is designed and created specifically to raise mental health awareness. Uh, it is uh, based on my personal mental health journey mm -hmm. and also experience as a mental health advocate, uh, peer advocate. Um, and so based on that, we created these comics and um, we released it first online uh, in 2019. Um, and uh, it just continued to grow since then. Um, it has been translated now into several languages, uh, including Chinese and Spanish. We want to do it to increase accessibility uh, into communities that may not be as well-versed, perhaps, in you know, mental health conversations. And then uh, it was also published as a chapbook. And now uh, it is uh, being presented for the first time uh, in its entirety uh, in Oakland um, at the Oakland Asian Cultural Center for the month of October. And we're doing it because uh, today, as we all know, it's World Mental Health Day. Mm -hmm. And so we want to commem commemorate that. Um, and so we hope that this event then can you know, provide the opportunity for people to come together and meaningfully connect with one another. At the same time, we are increasing and normalizing these conversations uh, so we can destigmatize those taboos. Yeah, and destigmatizing mm. mental health and all the things that come with it is super important. So the work that uh, you're putting in, I know, uh, has so much value. When somebody mm -hmm. is able to read this comic, what are they going to take away from it when it comes to mental health awareness? Mm. The primary motivation for Albert and I um, to create this comic is we wanted to, to you know, share our support and express our solidarity, uh, especially with folks who are struggling uh, or who have struggled. And we want them to know that uh, they're not alone, that someone else has been there and it's okay. Um, we also want to encourage folks for example, like this comic is based on my personal story, as I mentioned earlier, yeah. and um, it is a very vulnerable, very intimate story. Um, and I know this is only one person's story, but I hope that yeah, our vulnerability can also encourage others to also share their own vulnerability in talking about their own experiences. And they may not be able to or may not want to mm -hmm. um, do so as publicly as we do, yeah. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. uh, and it's okay. Um, but we hope that they can share um, or confide in, um, you know, folks that they are close with, their family and friends, or even a therapist, um, and that way then we can start to talk about them and we can all then also collectively increase uh, mental health awareness in this way. Yeah. yeah. Well, Edward, being a mental health awareness advocate, how mm. have you seen this have an effect on mm. those who maybe are struggling with mental health? Yeah, one of the most powerful thing um, and the most gratifying thing as we go on this journey with this project um, is getting emails uh, from folks who have read the comic and um, express their gratitude and express their just the way that they felt seen and they felt uh, less alone and that was yeah that's really moving for me and makes it um, yeah why we it's really why we are doing this project yeah. uh, and if we can reach just one person you know that is yeah Ah, so Amazing. rewarding, I can only yeah. imagine. Well, before yeah. I let you go, 
I see you have something here on the couch. Did yes. you bring something? Yes. So I brought you our chapbook. Um, Wonderful. So this is the comic panel that is being displayed at the Oakland Asian Cultural Center. Thank and, you and so much. So as a token of appreciation, I, appreciate I hope you like it. it. Yeah. Look at how I just want everybody to get a really good look at this. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Thank you so much, Edward, course, for joining yeah, us yeah. here and bringing so much awareness to mm. an incredibly important topic. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Of course. <laughs> to check